Hi, today we have a uh, Volkswagen Caddy with a uh, 1.6 uh, TDI engine. As you can notice, the engine is uh, shaking a lot. And also the check engine and uh, low plug, uh, low plug uh, lamp is uh, illuminated. So I'm going to connect with diagnostic tester. And you can see that the cylinder three injector circuit. Uh, this means that the fuel injector electronic is uh, damaged and uh, probably the fuel injector needs to be replaced. So now I'm going to shut down the engine and uh, replace the third injector. I'm going to disconnect the wiring of uh, both injectors and also I'm going to disconnect uh, both uh, pipelines and uh, also the return lines because I have to pull out uh, both uh, two injectors, third one and the fourth one because they are uh, connected with uh, the same uh, metal clamp that is uh, holding the fuel injectors. I have disconnected the wiring, also I have disconnected from the uh, turbo actuator and now I'm going to open the metal pipes with 17 millimeter wrench. I have opened the metal pipes, on this side I have only loosened so I can um, twist them around and now with uh, this kind of pliers I'm going to pull out the safety pin so I can remove the return line. And now I need um, 8 millimeter with a 12 uh, angle uh, wrench to open the center bolt. Now with a long bit and uh, with 13 millimeter wrench, I'm trying to move uh, a little the fuel injectors, and after that I'm going to start uh, to pulling them out because uh, it's a plastic valve cover and uh, it's um, there is a big possibility to damage it if you pushed uh, some with something. Uh, right away on the fuel injector. I have managed to pull out the fuel injectors. So now I'm going to remove them from the vehicle. I have cleaned the seats inside as much as I could, so now I'm going to install the fuel injectors. Here I have another fuel injector, it's been tested on the machine. We have also the uh, data sheet uh, for uh, this uh, fuel injector and also we have a new code that uh, we have to code it uh, when we install the fuel injector on the vehicle. And now I'm going to install the bolt, tighten them, and I'm going to connect the return uh, fuel lines, and after that I'm going to connect the metal pipelines. I have installed the bolt, also connected the return lines, installed the metal pins. Now I'm going to connect the metal pipes, tighten them with a 17 millimeter wrench. Everything is now connected. So next I have to coat the fuel injector into the uh, ECU. I'm turning the ignition on. I'm going to connect with the vehicle. And 
and here we have injector programming okay So I am pressing yes and I like to change on the cylinder number 3 and here we have the new code 95 B C E J Okay, so now the ICU adapts. Okay, and now the fuel injector is adapted with the ECU. I don't like to adjust no more. Okay, function complete. So now I'm going to delete the fault code. No more fault codes, and now I can uh, start uh, the engine. Now the engine is working fine, there is no more shaking. And also if I connect again with the diagnostic tester, I can check the tolerance uh, of the fuel injectors. Here are the corrections of the uh, injectors. This is on the first cylinder. Now we can see it's a little bit uh, big. It's adding uh, more fuel. Second one, it uh, looks okay. Third one is uh, with minus and the fourth one is uh, the same as the second one I think that uh, the first uh, fuel injector should be inspected and uh, maybe repaired and uh, when this one is repaired uh, I'm sure that uh, everyone else will be uh, the limits will be lower this means that I am finished if you like to see more videos please subscribe to my channel like my videos and thank you for watching